it is, it's not enough to simply believe in Jesus for this free gift of salvation. And they cite James 2, verse 19, to show that. And 2.19 says, You believe that there is one God, you do well, even the demons believe and tremble. And what they say is that proves that simply believing in Jesus for salvation is not enough to be saved. Is that, is that anywhere close to being a correct interpretation of this verse? No. <laughs> That's the end of this video because <laughs> it's so obviously wrong. I mean, first of all, there's a question on whether these are words of James or the objector. Right. The objector starts in verse 18, and I think the words of the objector end in verse 20 because then James says, but do you want to know, O foolish man? Right. O foolish man is the objector. But regardless of whose words verse 19 is, he, uh, the, the statement is, you believe there is one God. I think this is the objector saying, James, you believe in monotheism. Yeah. Even the demons believe yeah. in monotheism. In monotheism. And they tremble. Yeah. Okay, well, the point is, seemingly, that you have orthodox belief and you do well. Mm -hmm. They have orthodox belief and they don't do well. Mm -hmm. And so their point is there's no necessary connection, I think, between what you believe, and what you do. But the point that a lot of people make, that they call this demon faith, Yeah. Well, the question I would ask is, okay, do demons really believe in monotheism or not? Sure. Of course they do, yeah. right? I mean, they believe in God. They yeah. believe in monotheism. They know Jesus is the Son of God. Mm -hmm. they, they've, they when he comes him. up, they identify him as the yeah. Son of God, right? Mm -hmm. And they said, have you come to torment us before the time? Yeah. They believe there's going to be torment at the end of the age. And after the millennium, yeah. they'll be tormented. And so demons actually believe that. In fact, I would go so far, even though that's not the point of this text, the demons believe that any living human being who believes in Jesus has everlasting life that can never be lost. They believe the, the promise of life is true. Right, just like Satan does. Yeah. In Luke chapter 8 and verse 12, Satan snatches away the seed lest they should believe and be saved. Right. Now, the demons know that doesn't apply to them because they're not living human beings. Sure. But the truth is, they do know that human beings who believe in Jesus are secure forever. Right. So, the demons are more orthodox than a lot of people who talk about demon faith. Mm hmm they, they know the Bible well, yeah. and they know. Remember when Satan is tempting Jesus, he's quoting Bible sure. verses. So what's the point of bringing up demons and what believing in monotheism? Well, I think in this context, it's to say there's no necessary connection, the objector is saying, between faith and works. And I think James's point is there should be. Right. We should be, what we believe, we should be applying. Mm-hmm. And uh, so the objector is trying to say, look, you believe in one God and you do well, but that doesn't mean everybody who believes there's one God does well. Mm -hmm. Well, of course that's true, but we should. Right. And of course, ultimately, the issue is we're not born again by believing in monotheism. That's not the point of this text. Yeah. We're born again by believing in Jesus for the free gift of everlasting life. So James is going to say, just as he's been saying all along in his epistle, don't just be a hearer, do a doer. And Absolutely. that assumes that it's possible to just be a hearer and right. not a doer. Exactly. And this that this kind of confirms that. It doesn't, it doesn't disconfirm that. We may not put our faith into practice, but we should. But we should. And if we don't, we'll reap the consequences. Right. And not eternal condemnation. That's impossible. But... Judgment in this life and uh, some consequences of the judgment seat of Christ. Well